Hi and welcome to GCSE Modern Foreign Languages. Welcome, bienvenue, bienvenido. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Aitken et je serai votre professeur de français pour septembre. Hallo, guten Tag, ich heiße Frau Leisend und ich werde ein, eine Deutschlehrerin sein für die Klasse 10. Hola, me llamo Señorita Moral y os voy a dar clase en septiembre. No puedo esperar. So, Brandon, why did you decide to study languages? Uh, I decided to take uh, GCSE French and uh, Spanish as well because uh, it's quite easy to do so. Uh, also, it's quite interesting and it gives you a good uh, many number of uh, career pathways in the future. And what kind of skills have you learned? Um, I've learned to communicate in both languages uh, with a array of uh, a large number of different people um, and also to be able to like communicate better online. Okay, and what do you think the best thing about being able to speak another language is? Uh, I think the best thing is that you can talk to so many other people uh, all over the world and also uh, there's so many jobs and opportunities that you can take and that's pretty much it. Okay, muchas gracias. Adios. Just a little bit about the GCSE exam. There are four papers. Each paper is worth 25% of your total uh, grade. There's a listening paper, a speaking paper, a reading paper, a writing paper. And each of those four exams will um, test your knowledge of the language you study um, based on three themes that you study throughout the course. Um, if you study French and Spanish, you may have already covered a lot of the information in theme one, uh, relationships and family, social media, music, eating out, sport, customs and festivals. We tend to study theme two in year 10, so it covers hometown, your neighborhood, your region, a lot of um, social and global issues, including uh, the environment, uh, healthy lifestyles and charity work. And then finally, looks at travel and tourism. And some of this may move into year 11, um, where we finish off the course looking at um, life at school and college, and then a little bit about jobs and career choices. And then it gives us a little bit of time in year 11 to study a little bit more those themes that we studied in year nine and 10, and do a little bit of revision work and really get those skills up and ready for your exam um, in May and June. So what are the resources we use? Well, in French and Spanish, we have uh, an online book uh, called Caboodle, um, which um, has all the listening exercises that you might want. It has uh, interactive activities, grammar worksheets, assessments, and then we also, in class, use the actual physical book. Um, and a lot of our resources are, are based around that. For German, we have the book Stimmt uh, at foundation and higher level. Um, and then all languages will use um, Quizlet to help you learn vocabulary and to help you learn um, verbs as well, uh, as well as other resources such as languages as online and Linguascope. What we do also ask you all to purchase is a grammar and translation book. Um, it really helps to develop your skills in grammar, to have a real understanding of how a language is put together and structured. Um, and it will really help you to be uh, an independent learner and develop those skills ready for examination. So what can you do to prepare for September? Well, you may have already had a request to join the Google Classroom from your teacher. If not, don't worry, I'm sure it will be coming along fairly soon. Uh, you may have found in Google Classroom or on Show My Homework that you have been set some work to do over the summer by your teachers. So please have a go at getting on with this. As I said, buy the grammar and translation book, okay? See if you can maybe do uh, a few pages in there. Have a little look at, at what, what you're asked to do. Um, you could also try and log on to Caboodle if you do French and Spanish and your username and password will be the first initial of your first name uh, and then your surname, okay? And then we'll ask you to reset your password when you get in. 
don't worry if you can't get on there just yet. Um, you'll be shown exactly what to do in September. And then um, you could practice a little bit of vocabulary using Quizlet or using languages online or Linguascope. Um, practice your key tenses. Um, and then some of your summer work may have also been asked to prepare some uh, speaking questions um, ready for your GCSE speaking exam already. Um, if you really love learning languages, um, the best thing you can do is to listen, listen, listen. So if you find a really good film or a series you want to watch that's on Netflix, Amazon Prime, there's also a few films on the BBC iPlayer. Um, there's a world drama section on uh, Channel 4, which has got some really good series on as well. Uh, you can listen to some songs in a foreign language. Uh, it develops fluency, so if you can sing along to them, but often on YouTube, the lyrics will appear as well. Uh, maybe try out a few recipes from the country of the language that you're studying. Um, and also there's a wide range of learning apps that you could use. Um, here's just a few of them uh, that could get you on your way. Um, so you could be reading uh, newspapers in the language that you're learning. Um, you could be doing a bit of Duolingo um, or Memrise, help memorize stuff. So try a few of those out and um, see how you get on and just have fun learning languages and have a great summer.